Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Cracked Housing Fast. Uh, today we're going to work on getting our motor from our YZF450. We're going to pull that motor out today and set it into Not So Simplicity. Uh, for you guys just starting to follow us, uh, Not So Simplicity is a 1960s garden tractor that we stripped down and we added rear independent suspension, front independent suspension, and we're kind of making it an all-terrain tractor. So it's pretty cool. I'm just hanging out over here on the YZF 450, kind of reminiscing before we take this thing apart. Um, so we've had a very exciting week, Kurt and I, the last week and a half or so. Um, we've had a ton of new followers on Instagram and Facebook, so be sure to go and check those out. Um, it's just we've had a lot of growth and we're just pumped about it and uh, we're looking forward to getting some more interaction from everybody. Um, kind of give us some feedback if you see some things that you think that we should do differently. Um, we want to improve. Uh, Kurt and I are not exactly people who have done video and production before, so we're learning as we go. So if you give us a little feedback, we'd appreciate it. But uh, stay tuned, we're going to get the same board out. Okay, first step for today, we're going to tear down the YZF 450. Or rip all the plastics off of it, um, get it tore down and see what we're going to reuse off of here. There probably isn't much um, in the way of a wiring harness or anything like that, so we're just going to reuse that to overrun Not So Simplicity. Um, yeah, so that's the first step for today. We're just going to tear it down and see what we have to work with. So we're uh, in the process of tearing down the bike. Um, got all the, the gas tank, the seat, uh, part of the frame apart. Uh, the next thing we have to do is get that rear swing arm off here. Uh, get that pulled off, get that rear shock off, and just continue uh, tearing it down. Okay, so we got the rear brake assembly all removed, took the caliper master cylinder off. That may end up on not so simplicity, um, or maybe used in a future project. We just, we're gonna repurpose it. Um, next step is we're gonna remove the pivot bolt for the swing arm, um, get that part taken off, and then we should be able to start taking the engine off. in there pretty tight. This thing does not want to go, does it? No. Nope. <laughs> Little persuasion. Maybe this one. Yep, that'll do it. There we go. Get this out of here. I'll probably reuse that or sell that maybe. But uh Alright, next victim is the engine. Yeah. So, I'm gonna keep working on this. Okay, so on this year bike, it's a 2003. It's got a dry sump system for the oil. So the oil is actually kept in the frame. Uh, so we're gonna have to recreate that with like an oil reservoir in Not So Simplicity. Uh, so we're just gonna drain the oil out of here. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Which uh, apparently, <laughs> The oil's not in it, so. <laughs> so yeah, all right. Okay guys, so as we disassemble the bike here, uh, we definitely wanna keep track of where the wiring and all the like breather tubes go. Uh, so when we put it back together in not so simplicity, we're not guessing where things go. So uh, we're just kinda taking our time, documenting where everything goes, like this is the kill switch. That'll obviously be important for our machine. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna continue working.
Okay, we've disconnected everything, um, unbolted all the motor mounts, got everything freed up, took the carburetor off, all that stuff. Um, I think we're ready to take it out. Um, I'm gonna give it a try. If the bike doesn't fall on me. Ugh, it should come out here. Okay. Did you try making the motor smaller? <laughs> Actually, it'd probably come out this way better, wouldn't it? No, maybe not. I don't think it's all still mine. go. Uh, we're still hooked by something. Oh, the clutch cable. <laughs> <laughs> Did you set it down? Uh, no. <laughs> Here, just set it down. No, I'll put the bike down on this side. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's kind of out. The motor is a little out. Mm, it's got me. So, um, yeah. All right, last thing is the clutch cable. <laughs> yeah. After a little struggle getting this out of the frame, we finally got our 450 out here on the bench. Uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna work on getting it into not so simplicity, but first we have a few welds to finish up so it'll support the weight. So, we have the engine out, we set it back into not so simplicity. Um, we're gonna have to kind of figure out where everything's gonna end up. Um, we were just, we wanted to see what it was gonna look like in here, and it, it, it looks really cool. So, with the dashboard and with the hood mounts back here, we may have to remove this, bring it up some, move it back some. We don't really know what's gonna happen yet as far as that goes. Um, we need to find a place for radiators and an oil tank as well. Uh, like we talked about before, this has a dry sump, so we'll have an external um, oil reservoir and it only holds a couple ounces of oil on the engine. Um, and then as far as sorting out the exhaust, uh, the Kickstarter, um, all that stuff's gonna just be kind of fun and interesting as we go along and we'll, we'll definitely show you guys everything. Um, so we just wanted to see what it was gonna look like and I think it's freaking awesome. All right, so we have the motor sitting in place here. Uh, we're lining up the head with the center of the tractor, which actually works out good because it puts our Kickstarter to the outside. We're gonna obviously have to modify the sheet metal a little, but this lines up. Our sprocket is actually inside here a little bit, and we're gonna cut a hole down here to run the chain down through. Um, so it's looking good. The next step is we're going to work on the engine mounts. So back here, we're gonna have a little engine mount, and then down below. There's going to be a little engine mount down under here. So uh, we're going to start on that and see how that goes. All right, so what we did here is we made up some tabs to use as mounts uh, out of quarter inch steel, and we're going to weld those to this back plate, which is tied into the tractor. Um, so we got the bolt through here, and Sean's going to go ahead and weld that up. All right, so we have the engine mounted in the rear, um, back here, that bolt there. So we have that mounted, and then we cut up um, some two-inch angle iron, and we're fitting that in here for the lower mount. Um, so it's kind of hard to see, but that hole right there, that's where the lower mount is going to go. Um, like I said, we cut this up um, and then uh, we have to cut the, the corner off and also Kurt is drilling the hole right now to fit that uh, bolt through. So that should work. 
And then the other part, the next part, we're gonna make mounts, some uprights to go up to these. So we'll show you that here in a minute. the front engine mount what we were going to do with the idea we decided to incorporate the front shock towers into it so we're kind of just we notch the tubes so the shocks go up in there um, we're building a couple little braces here uh, kind of notch that out um, we'll do the same thing over on this side we're going to copy that and uh, when we go to do the engine mount we'll cut some nice little brackets and weld them down into here so it'll all be kind of one metal bracket. So it should work out pretty good. All right, so we got this whole structure built. Um, we put the uprights in there. Um, we have everything set. We're gonna go ahead and weld this in here. Um, that way it'll tie everything together. We ran the pieces past the, the, the radius of the frame here. That kind of helped us give it a little bit more strength. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and get everything welded up and it'll be sitting on its own weight. Okay, so we had the tabs, uh, Kurt went ahead and made up the tabs for the motor, front motor, the forward most motor mount. Um, so we went ahead, cut them, uh, drilled them. So that's all set to go. Uh, I'm gonna get this welded in and then finally, this 450 engine will be permanently mounted in the not so simplicity. All right guys, so it's been a long day and we've been working on this. Uh, we got the motor put in, got all the engine mounts done, we got the front shock mounts done, and it's come along good. Like we're really happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's sitting under its own weight now, it's on its suspension all by itself. Uh, we're just really happy with how it turned out. So if you guys like what we do and you're, you're watching our YouTube and checking this stuff out, Please uh, like and subscribe to our videos. We, we've been working really hard and we're excited to see all the feedback and the likes and the, and the follows that we've been getting. Um, so we have a, a Facebook and an Instagram. If you wanna head over there and follow those, uh, we really appreciate the support there and we've been having a lot of fun interacting with everybody on there and we try to get to all the comments and talk to everybody as much as possible. So if you like what we do, go ahead and uh, follow and subscribe to, to all of our social media and YouTube and uh, look forward to the next video.